to leave in a couple of hours. I have a long way to go. You've got to go back to your room. Your husband may be you. No, he isn't there. Excuse me, madam. Only three new guests last night. All right, put them in the rack for nieces. Cards ready yet? Yes? Hmm? Repeat, please. No, no, no. Stay by the phone until I call you back. Don't do a thing. I won't want him disturbed yet. But isolate the place. Let no one in or out and stop all phone calls. He's been staying in this hotel near Grass since last night. He's registered for two days. Shall I put out an alert? No, no, no. Not yet. He'll kill anybody who tries to intercept him. We'd better get down there right away. an Englishman. Then Duggan's staying here. Where is he? Mr. Duggan's gone, sir. He left this morning, just after 11. Assemble all the staff and guests. Don't let anyone get away. Get the manager. It's strange. He was booked in here for two days. Then just after 11, he suddenly asks for his bill and leaves. He's got five hours start. Put out an alert for the car. You did say that Madame de Montpellier's bed was slept in by two people. Yes, sir, definitely. You can always tell. And you saw them in the lounge together? That is correct, sir. I served them coffee and liqueur. They seemed very engrossed. In what? In each other, sir. Now, what did Mr. Duggan's luggage consist of when he left this morning? Two bags. Nothing else? No parcels or packages of any kind? Just the two bags. I carried them to his car. That'll be all. You photographed everything? Yes, yes. Go over Duggan's room for fingerprints. Send the stuff to Paris. I'll have a talk with the lady. There's more news. They have a description of your car. Try to keep out of sight for a few days. Mm -hmm. 